what's happening my people music review time so this is one i wasn't gonna do but then i came around to it uh, i think this dropped last week and man listening to it i wasn't necessarily sure if i was gonna do a review or not but man once i heard it i was like i don't want to regret this i have to put this out in the world i have to let put y'all on game and stuff and a, a viewer a subscriber or I don't know if they subscribe but they're on the channel and they asked if I was gonna do this and I was like I might get around to it but then other things dropped it was like Lil Wayne dropped the stuff I was like I like well I don't have to do it I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these other videos and stuff but man I came back around to this and check this out Sai I read the kid Sai I read the kid he's somebody I've listened to before and I'm torn on it because he does R&B as well. And on his R&B projects, I loved it. Like the Heartbreak Kid, I think was the name of it. But then he had something else, and it turned me off of his music, his rapping. It was just like his last mixtape and stuff. I didn't like it at all. So that's why I was kind of on the fence about this. And then once I put this on, I'm like, damn, he rapping. I'm like, ah. But, hey, do his thing on this one. But uh, this is, so I read the kid, it was unwritten. This is 14 songs, an hour and three minutes. Let's get into the project, man. Try to get through this quick. Uh, track one, never write, always write. Like, write, W-R-I-T-E, and then the other write is R-I-G-H-T. But it's chill intro, spectacular wordplay, man. Like, he comes on there and just, he murder it. Track two, two-parent household featuring Rama. Deep track. Telling stories about his family and his close friends about how they came up and stuff and uh is it's real dope man like he, he's saying a lot of things on this album man. number three entrepreneurship definitely check this track out right here giving free game talk about how he was selling candy in school and he was making more than the teachers and stuff he talked about uh making the llc and developing your own business man and uh using your your own vehicle as and you know Dinners and stuff is a tax write-off and uh even talk about YouTube monetization and stuff, man. It's definitely a track you should you should check out, man, and get your notes ready and stuff. He says a lot of things on here, man. Number four, a dream of playing featuring Big Crit and has dreams of being there with the greats and stuff. You talk about uh how he back in the he wish he would have signed with uh he would have signed with Rockefeller and Dipset and uh jumped on Dilla Beats and Stuff like like that, like he's talking about his dream scenarios, and uh, Big Crit come on there. He wrecks it as well. He has a whole different flow, so he brings a whole different vibe to the track. It's a, it's another dope dope track. Number five, Reap with your soul featuring Static Selector. Nasty sample. This remind me of something that Jay Z would have jumped on, like in the uh, in the late nineties or something. This is, I really like this track, man. This they do their thing on here. Number six. Under and Over the Influence featuring Pacquiao. Not Manny Pacquiao, but uh, Melodic. He talk about how drugs influenced uh, his family and friends and stuff and how he never smoked and never drank. I I've, I've, uh, can relate to that. I never smoked, never drank and stuff. So I salute the brother for putting that out in the universe. You don't see too many people put that out. But he said he never smoked and never drank and stuff because he was scared about losing his life and stuff because he's seen how it was affecting the people around him. I love that track, man. I love the, the message and everything. Dope. Number seven, Chain Reaction. This that classic boom bap rap. But then it, it keeps switching. It, like he uh, have phone calls in, in the middle of it. And homeboy like sending in beats and stuff. And so the beat keeps switching up. And so it's just one of them like spitting tracks. It's not like the deepest track in the world, but it's like different beats in these showcases. And like he, he's stunting on them with the different beats. Number eight, Sway at Night and Smack DVD URL interlude featuring New Jersey Twerk. New Jersey Twerk uh being the battle rap scene and stuff, smacking and, and all that. And this is a skit and stuff, and then it's uh on Sway in the morning, they was all uh, doing the freestyle and stuff. This might have been the exact freestyle I think that he did on uh, Swing in the Morning. So this is one is like it's something that you would want to hear like one time or something. Like as far as like you hearing the freestyle, like hearing the wordplay and stuff. But as far as like I don't think you're gonna be riding, rolling around jamming this, man. I'm gonna put this on repeat. I'm gonna be jamming this and bumping it like is not, not a track like that. It's just like you hearing him rap, but is is 
dope rapping for you to hear for that time. Or uh, number nine, Did and I featuring Quentin Miller and Trans Lee. Man, you ain't heard of Quentin Miller in a long time. You remember he had the, the fiasco and the, uh, the accusations about writing for Drake and doing that and whatever. But you ain't heard about him in a long time. The people was beating him up and then I think he got something amputated or something. Like he had a health, health complica complications and stuff. But a soul sample, light stunt. They running off their stats and stuff, talking about didn't I do this, didn't I do that, like I, I did this and stuff, didn't I, and stuff. So it's one of those type of joints, but it is nice though. Number 10, Temporary Love featuring Jasmine Janae. Basically, basically it's the title, the title of the track, man. It's uh, talking about how people people get together, and it's not like it, nothing deep, like it's just temporary love, like like uh, we get over somebody, the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody and stuff, like just have meaningless sex and stuff and just like people don't have bonds and stuff like they used to anymore it's just like like temporary love for the the, the meantime but a, a good joint number 11 aria this basically a love letter to his daughter and stuff one of those type joints beautiful song number 12 verbatim remix featuring Sahada the prince of ti and no matter what you go through just keep pushing and you can you can achieve anything in life and stuff it's one of the motivational type type joints number 13 Pioneer Peace, spitting up is two different joints. And so the first one, spitting by things he did, he was ahead of his time and stuff, basically a pioneer and stuff. And he, he influenced a lot of styles and stuff and people don't give him his credit for things that he did that he was doing a long time ago, like certain samples and singing and, and rapping and stuff. And people don't want to give him his prop. And then Peace, he basically talking about, he, uh, shouting out like a lot of people that have passed on in life and he wishing them peace and stuff. So he's in, Another beautiful number 14, The Lost and Found Files, part one. Bonus track. And basically, this is a bunch of beats. Like, this is like four beats. And it keeps flipping. Like, he he rapping on this beat, and then it flip, and it flip, and it flip. But it's not like one of those where it's just like stunting rapping. It's like, he's talking about some deep stuff on here. So, it is a great track. And man, going through it. And man, I don't want to have a knee-jerk reaction and stuff, but man, this is the best project this year, especially in the rap realm. Man, as far as like, uh, and I'm not a big side high, I'm uh, a big side I read the kid fan as far as like his rapping and stuff. Like he can rap, but man, just the, the message and stuff he did, the, the wordplay, the beat selection, the content, man. Uh, this is better than Wayne album. This is better than Eminem album. This is better than Moneybag Yo. This is better than Russ. This is better than all those albums that have dropped this year. This is the best, the best album this year so far. This is, this is better than 070 Shake. She has a real good album, but this, this is better. This is the best album so far this year, man. So I had to come across in, uh, in give this brother his props. If you haven't heard about this album, man, check this out. If I influence you to listen to it, if I get a few extra plays where I did my job, but I get this, man, I'm like I'm like debating on a 9.5 or a 10, man, but the way I'm raving about it, man, I'm giving him a 10. I'm going to give him a 10, man, because people don't say too much in their rhymes anymore, man. The, what he's saying in his music, that is what gives him this 10. And just the beat selection and everything, man, he's not, he not like just, I'm trying to, make a little club track or I'm trying to make a Molly track or something or make something like that. Like I'm trying to make an NBA young boy type joint or whatever. Like he's just doing what he doing, sticking to his theme and killing it. Like much respect to you. Much respect to you, my brother. Much love. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be a great to the most hated man. How let your boy. Peep that out. Peace.